Hey everybody. Happy New Year from Cute Computer Company. It is now 2015. It's actually January 2nd. And guess what Time Warner Cable is doing to celebrate the New Year? <laughs> They're jacking up rates. Eh, not surprising. Let's have a look here. This came on the bill. This is the most recent bill, the December statement. We got this list of a summary of all the price changes for some Time Warner Cable services that will be taking effect on the next bill. Here it reads, this is a summary of the price changes for some Time Warner Cable services and equipment. New service and equipment rates will go into effect in your next bill, that'd be the January bill. <clears throat> if you're currently receiving an initial promotional discount for these services, the service price will remain in effect for the duration of the promotional period and these changes will not be applied until that time. Please note, your bill may now include a sports programming surcharge which defrays the increased cost imposed by sports programmers. Yeah, that's great for people who don't watch sports. And I guarantee you, um, you see it says, imposed by sports programmers. I smell ESPN here. They charge like $5 per subscriber per month, which is ridiculous. Anyways, that's, that's um, to the side. Time War Cable is not passing on that entire charge to you. Anyways, let's go ahead and have a look at these services and fees that they're going up on or adding. Now, here are two fees that really, really you should pay attention to. Number one, digital adapter. Number two, internet modem lease. They're also going up on a broadcast TV surcharge and are adding in that, that um, sports programming surcharge. And let's say if you have HBO and MoviePass are going up on those as well. Digital adapter which Time Warner Cable told us all these years they come out with the digital adapters I believe in 2013 is when they really started to push them out and trust me <laughs> I've dealt with one of those things before and they're absolute junk you might as well throw them in the trash they're, they're junk they give you nothing but problems I have a video regarding this which I, if I remember I'll post into the description so yes as you can see digital adapter going for the 99 cents that they told us uh, all this time they were telling us it was going to be 99 cents starting in 2015. That wasn't good enough for them. They had to go up to 275 per adapter. So if you have two of these things, it's going to cost you five dollars and fifty cents a month. <laughs> so if you have four, it's going to cost you eleven dollars a month, just in digital adapter fees. Now, see if you have internet service. If you haven't bur if you haven't bought your own modem already, you're already paying six dollars for your modem per month. You're going to now be paying eight dollars a month for your modem. Used to be Time Warner did not charge a modem lease fee. Then they decided, oh, it does hurt for money, so they started to charge a $3.99 per month fee for the modem. Then they went up to $5.99 per month, and now they're going up to $8 a month. And here's a broadcast TV surcharge. They started out at $2.25. They're just, they, they can't eat those fees that the broadcasters, local broadcasters are charging to air their services. So they're going up to 275 Now the funny thing is, is you can get these broadcast channels for free over, over the antenna which doesn't really make sense to me why they're charging cable companies to air these to air their services but anyways it is what it is and of course the sports programming surcharge which you know my dad likes ESPN but let's say my mom myself my grandma we could do without ESPN I could care less about it I mean they're charging Time Warner Cable five dollars per subscriber per month to air their service such as let's say maybe the water channel may charge what 75 to 90 cents per subscriber per month yeah <laughs> big difference now the water channel um, was this an estimate as you can see they're going way up on certain things like the digital data and the internet modem so I'm going to talk about these two today let's start out with the modem the modem is the easiest the modem lease fee is the easiest one you can avoid. And that is by buying your own cable modem. They usually retail for about sixty to eighty dollars at most retailers. I think Staples has them for fifty nine ninety five or something like that for a Netgear. Or if you want to go to Best Buy and get you a Motorola surfboard, you can pay about seventy dollars. It really depends on where you go. And just think of it. They're gonna be charging eight dollars a month just for you to rent their piece of crap modem I mean, yeah <laughs> their modems are not all that great so just think in eight months time like I mentioned the higher some of the higher-end internet modems 
are around 80 bucks. That'll pay for itself in 10 months. And for a while, my dad was paying $6 a month to, to lease a modem that he was stuck with because he had home phone. I'll get on to that shortly. And we decided, when we switched our home phone to Mad Jack Plus, we decided to go ahead and ditch the modem and get our own. We got a Motorola surfboard for like 70 something dollars and by now it's about paid for itself in the amount of lease fees that we saved. So let's go have a look. Oh, I'll grab the flashlight out help. It is dark in here today. There it is. Motorola surfboard SP6121. The thing is, what I guess I could call stupid simple to set up. You just take it out of the box, hook it into your Time Warner cable line, call up Time Warner cable using your cell phone if you had their home phone or Magic Jack or something like that. Just give them a call, give them your the MAC address off the bottom of the modem, and they will hook up to your account in like a minute or so. It's that simple. Just buy the thing at, let's see, um, Staples, Best Buy, Walmart, Newegg, Amazon, wherever. Just buy one, hook it up, and enjoy saving $8 a month on your Time Warner bill. Okay, so let's say if you have Time Warner Cable's home phone service. You're stuck with this big, what I like to call, big piece of Time Warner Cable equipment. Yeah, it's about double the size of this Motorola surfboard. It has a crap load of connections back, and including two telephone jacks, because it has a built-in telephone adapter. And it, and it really it converts your, your regular home phone to digital phone. Practically voice over IP. It's sim pretty much similar, if not the same. And you're paying, the cheapest you'll be paying for Time Warner's home phone is $10 a month. So you're, you're throwing money away considering you can get Magic Jack services for the equivalent of $3 a month. So that, that's seven dollars a month you're saving there. So yeah, if you get if you ditch your home phone and go with Magic Jack, it's 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 pretty simple to to switch over to Magic Jack. I mean, you only the only other fee that you have to pay besides buying your Magic Jack and later on a year of service is a one-time ten-dollar fee to port your number. So you can switch over to Magic Jack Plus, get your home phone out of Time Warner's hands, then you can easily switch your modem to something like this. Now, if you so wish to stay with Time Warner's home phone, you can you can keep the home phone, but you'll be well, the funny thing is you'll be keeping this Aris telephone device, but you'll be having to pay for it no more. It's really weird. You you'd have to run a split in your coax line to a modem and then to a Time Warner cable piece of equipment, the same thing you've always been using, but not to pay for it no more. I personally don't recommend that because. Splitting your coax does harm your signal to devices on the end that get that signal. I don't recommend splitting. I try to avoid it wherever possible. So, if you want to save money, just just ditch Time Warner's home phone and go with Magic Jack. Enough said. So, anyways, in the crown of missile wires, there's a Magic Jack Plus. There's actually two of them. One is mine. One is theirs. I've had mine since 2012. They've had theirs for about for about half a year now since the summer of 2014 and this is the Magic Jack Plus it plugs into your router and it has a phone line that plugs up to it just like we just basically took the home phone line that plugged into the Time Warner modem and just plug it straight into here and set it up nowadays they sell the device called the Go which I'll, I'll have a separate video about Magic Jack to follow up instead of putting it in this video Anyways, there's the switch and the router. So that's how you can avoid Time Warner's modem lease fee. Now let's talk about the digital adapter. So let's say if you have a bunch of these digital adapters around your house getting you doing lots of trouble. Um, think of it like this. If you have a Windows 7 computer, you have Windows Media Center. And there are so many products on the market nowadays that will turn your Windows 7 computer into a DVR. For um, one example is products from a company called Seton. This computer here is not a desktop computer. Yeah, it's a desktop computer, but it does not serve the roles as a regular computer. It runs as TV. Now, of course, you're seeing a Windows 7 desktop right now, but it runs Windows Media Center. I'll come back to that in just a moment. Okay, everybody, we're looking at the computer here. This is in the other room. This is Mid Tower Deluxe. 
Now this option here, as I mentioned with the seating devices, is more for those who are tech savvy because it involves some technical know-how with some simple networking and troubleshooting in Windows sometimes. Not too difficult if you know something about computers and for those who aren't very tech savvy you can look up on this and you can probably get this figured out if you put your mind to it. But basically Seaton offers two types of tuner products. You have the Infinity V6 Ethernet which is not this here. This is this one here is the PCIe. This is a device that actually goes installed inside the computer and it has six discrete tuners built into the same card. So you can record up to six six TV shows at once with this thing. Or watch one and record five at once. It really depends on your setup. But basically, inside of this device is a cable card, which is leased from Time Warner Cable. You can probably see it in the back of the computer there. You'll lease the cable card from Time Warner for roughly $2.50 per month. And with that, you also get a tuning adapter. This is a device that uh, works with Time Warner Cable's Switch Digital Video Network. I mean, it's not too terribly hard to set up if you're if you have some technical knowledge. But think of it this way: forget the digital adapter for, for two seventy-five a month. Let's say if you have multiple set-top boxes, or let's say if you have multiple DVR set-top boxes, you can save a ton of money by going with this setup. Because think of it: your Windows Seven computer comes with Windows Media Center fresh out of box, unless it's Windows Seven Starter, which is on netbooks. Um, yeah. Now, when is that? You have, to, you have to buy extra stuff to get Media Center. But basically, you have the Seaton Infinity V6. I'll go and focus on the Ethernet device next. Okay, everybody. Now, let's go and talk about the Seaton Infinity V6 Ethernet unit. Now, I don't actually have that because I had the PCIe. But basically, if you had the Infinity V6 Ethernet device, it would plug into your home network's switch, which is either on your router. Or if you have a discrete switch, you can plug it in there. Recommend you that you have actually have a gigabit network for this. So you would have that and your tuning adapter stacked together in the same area. That way, you'll be easier to set things up. Now, Seton also offers a device called the Echo, which is what's called a Media Center Extender. It brings Windows Media Center functionality to individual TVs. Now, in this scenario, we actually have separate computers running the TVs. I do have a seat in Echo, but I haven't got it set up yet, so I can't really show it to you how it works. But basically, if you have one desktop computer, you can have that running your seat and device at, through Windows Media Center, and then you can have your seat and Echo devices hooked to that. Now, as I mentioned, it's more of a tech savvy option. For one reason, it is due to the technical knowledge required for setting this up, but also the cost. The Seton Infinity V6 Ethernet version or PCIe is roughly $199. And the Seton Echo used to be $179, but you can probably catch it on sale right now for $99 a piece. So, yeah, it's a bit more of a pricey option, but it gives you more functionality. And in the long run, it will pay for itself, especially if you're running multiple DVR boxes or set top boxes from Time Warner Cable. So, anyways, that's set aside. Let me go show you what one is media center looks like. So anyways, you got to see all those increases that Time Warner's imposing in their fees and everything. So to wrap up this video, I'm going to show you one as Media Center. That's the main role of that computer down there is to run one as Media Center. Here's your DVR, recorded TV, and this not only offers TV functionality. I mean, here's the guide, which is free. Time Warner Cable set top box guide you that you have to pay a fee for that every month per box. And of course, here is the Windows Media Center guide which you can customize. I do have this Media Center interface customized with a custom background and everything. I think it looks mighty nice. Okay, that's the guide. Not only does Media Center offer TV functionality, but you have movie functionality with built in Netflix. You can stream your music with this. Let's say if you have music stored on another computer in your house, you can stream it through this. If you want to look through pictures, you can do that from here. Gotta wait on now. Lots and lots of pictures. Anyways, go back. 
and here's an extras library. Just all sorts of random things like games and stuff like that. But this is the Windows Media Center interface, which I think is a lot nicer than Time Warner Cable's DVR interface. It gives you more features, and overall, the, the interface is much nicer. And I'll go ahead and display just a little bit of TV. I'll do it on a local channel. And I can't do much because obviously I can't be streaming TV on YouTube. Just in case you want to see what TV looks like on this, sure. And it's a commercial. Good. See another local channel. So anyways, that is, um, let's go back to this. That is one of the media center. So anyways. I know this video kind of went off topic a little bit, but at the same time, you're learning some new stuff today. Yes, Time Warner Cable is going up on their, on their fees even more, but there are some ways you can avoid some of those fees. Mainly the internet modem lease and the digital adapter lease fees. <laughs> time Warner Cable, I tell you, they, they got to go up on everything. It's like every time you turn around, they're going up on something. They're not going down on anything, but they're going up, 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 up. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And guess what else? Time Warner has a bonus for us. <laughs> we got this in the mail today. <laughs> they're wanting to they're wanting to upgrade our services and lock us in $130 a month. The bill right now is like $113. So anyways, they're wanting to give us 50 megs internet, which is mighty nice. But they're wanting to give us TV with whole house DVR. Yes, whole house DVR. Watch up to 300 channels of live TV on your device with free TV app. You can do this already with what we have. Let's see, whole house DVR service. Recorded 75 hours of HD programming. 75 hours of Sammy hours are available on this. With its 2 terabyte hard drive. Oops. Recorder storage. <laughs> oh, yeah, look. Record at 75 hours. This thing here can record up to 218 hours of HD totals available to record. 218 hours of HD versus um <laughs> versus only 75. Oh yeah, that's that's lovely. Thank you. I appreciate it, but no thanks. And home phone. Um, why would we all switch back to this? This, I mean, like as I mentioned, it's no cheaper than $10 a month at at, at its cheapest rate. And after after a year or so, it's going to go up even more. So. I think we'll just stay with Magic Jack. No thank you. Again, Time Warner, thanks for no thanks. But we are not going to reply to you and accept this offer. Again, thanks for watching.